Yes, I do. I'm going to move this a bit to the right.
thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do not 
not wither, everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are all chaff, which is when they blows away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. A reading from the first letter of John. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. sent me into the world, so have I sent them into the world. 
and for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
that the faithful did not despair or disband, but continued meeting together, and indeed filled the spot among them left by Judas' death. About 120 gathered to choose the apostle to fill his spot, choosing between Barsabbas, also known as Justice, or Matthias. They prayed and then cast lots, and the lots fell on Matthias. Neither man is mentioned in biblical writings again, but we know that the new Israel is in place to receive what Jesus asks of Yahweh on behalf of the community. Jesus' primary request is that the community be protected from the evil one as it lives out its distinctive life in the world. This represents the totality of what is at odds with God, rejected Jesus, and lives in the grip of the evil one. Living in the world, especially identified as part of a unique community that clings to the name of Jesus, poses a threat to them all. Jesus' capitulation to the values of the world and the pressures around him illustrate what can happen. Judas's capitulation to the values of the world and the pressures around him illustrate what can happen. Jesus specifically asks that the Christian community be guarded by a power not known to the world. Whatever it neglects, Whenever it neglects its otherworldliness and embraces life as an institution like all others of the world, it contradicts its very being. Jesus then asks that the Christian community exhibit the same oneness that exists between Jesus the Father, a mutuality that exists between Jesus and the Father. Each glorifies the other. The actions and words of the one are the actions and the words of the other. This is Jesus requesting that the church display the way of abiding that characterizes true love. The third request is that God bring to fulfillment in the community Jesus' joy. What a contrast that presents to the hostility of the world. This is not happiness. Rather, it derives from the words Jesus has spoken, words that have offended the world and led to rejection, but the same words that bring fullness of life. Jesus' final petition is that God sanctify or make holy or set apart the church. This is a word associated with the Hebrew scriptures where priests and animals were set apart for sacrifice for the Levitical holiness code where the whole nation was directed to live as a special people separated for the service of a holy God. This is what makes the church distinct in the world. In a sense, it is a community like many other communities, distinguished neither by its virtues nor its moral perfection. Its separateness, separateness is, is by the gift of God, who assigns it a special role to play and who calls it to live as a community of strangers, which, like its Lord, does not belong to the world. This is what we prepare for as we await the day of Pentecost. We await the manifestation of the Holy Spirit to give us the will and the ability to carry out these gifts from God. Amen. Amen.
Jesus. 
all the days of their life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. birthday. Christ. 
to proclaim the glory of your name.
feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving.
make you holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. Amen. May God, who has brought us out of bondage to sin into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal